This is Praveen Chauhan and you're watching your own channel Technology Video Network. I listen and always try to make videos for you guys for your help, your benefits. And in this context, I'm making this video in English because I got some comments that I should make videos in English too for those who can understand English only. This is one especially for you, Matthew. In this video, you'll know about DU Screen Recorder and Live Stream app from scratch to live. But in this video, I'll explain you offline recording. And in next video, uh, will be on live stream. So do watch that one also. Please subscribe Technology Video Network, ring the bell icon, be a member of the family and support your own family. So first thing first, download and install DU app from Google Play Store for Android and Apple Play Store for iOS. PC version also, also available for 64-bit only. And in this video, we are focusing on mobile version. Please watch complete video and don't miss a single frame or you'll be like this. What's going on? What happened? Okay, so let's do it after download and installation du icon will look like this okay when you tap on the icon it will show you or guide you about the app and its feature you can read and learn more about the same or just skip now this icon will appears on your phone screen tap it and you'll see a bunch of icons first icon stands for offline recording when you are not doing a live stream second icon for app by tapping this you will enter into app i'll tell you about this a little bit another one for tools when we choose while we are recording offline or live i'll explain you about this after some time and last one for live stream so let's understand from beginning first for offline recording when you wanna record your phone screen for editing purpose or any but not going live remember not if you are not going live and recording offline here you can pause or stop recording or choose tools according your need second for app by tapping this you will enter into the app here you will see offline recorded videos here any snapshot you took with the help of this app will be here here you will see live stream videos and uh, when you when your data is on you can you may able to see live stream videos live stream videos by others tools for editing first one edit videos you can edit your offline videos here if you wanna merge your offline videos you can do it from here if you wanna make GIF from your videos you can do it from here for transfer file select this Wi-Fi transfer if you wanna edit an image choose this one edit image and if you wanna stitch some images together select stitch images and you may able to stitch some images like this and if you wanna cut some portion of any image you can cut by tapping on scissor icon and cut unwanted portion and finally image will be look like this and last one settings remember this setting will apply on only offline screen recording video in setting you'll find first video resolution keep it on full HD next video quality select as per your video resolution choose at or 5 Mbps FPS 
you can choose as per your editing setup or you wanna uh, make some slow-mo kind of videos choose select 60 i choose 25 or 30. next is video orientation i suggest you to keep it auto or if you wanna uh, landscape or portrait select accordingly this one record audio record audio means when you record audio from your speaker phone your voice or your surroundings uh, all this all these recorded here with the uh, when you enable this android won't let due uh, to record its system or internal sound so internal sound won't record video location here you can select your offline video location if you have any memory card select this or internal storage by enabling this invert video color your video color will be inverted like this this is inverted and this one is actual so if you wanna you can do it next is repair system ui crash i suggest you to let it be for recording mode select standard hide the recording window when record i suggest you to do not enable this because it's hard to find the recording icon later and you have to scroll down all the way and then you may able to stop recording so don't enable shake phone to stop recording you can stop your recording by shaking your phone and you can you can uh, set shake intensity from here but i suggest you to keep it off because while moving or making some move uh, if your shake matches your recording will stop so don't enable this one also not close app when you exit the floating window uh, now this is the floating window and if you exit it app will close so i suggest don't enable this because sometimes you need uh, if sometimes you don't need uh, the floating window while editing your video or anything you're doing in your app okay disable pop-up notification after a screenshot you can enable it to avoid any interruption for your viewers uh, next is countdown timer uh, three is uh, three second is good hide the recording button on home page if you wanna uh, hide recording button on your home page enable it keep recording when screen is off this is very important please keep in mind that if you don't enable this and by mistake screen will go off by pressing some button or any kind of setting anything your recording will be stopped so i suggest you to enable this one right now pause recording for incoming calls if you want to take if you want to pick your calls while recording you can enable this but i prefer not to because you have to focus on your recording now recording tools uh after some times please show touches if you wanna show your touches on screen you have to enable it from your phone setting then go to developer tools then uh, enable show touches it's also up to you if you wanna show your touches you can enable or let it be next one is watermark do not enable this one because due personal watermark will be on your recorded videos here i want to tell you about watermark that it won't show while recording you may able to see after uh, recording finished so okay personalized watermark for recording this one is for offline videos if you wanna put your own personalized watermark as a text or as an image you can create one from here like this uh, you can type anything and okay you can adjust or do remember watermark will be 
on your whole video from start to end so create a default one or create every time according your video subject personalize watermark for live stream here you can create watermark for live stream video as an as a text and as an image both you can put simultaneously create video editor shortcut on desktop if you want you can add and uh, the rest uh, 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 let it be okay uh, now the third icon is recording toolbox by tapping this uh, uh, window will pop up like this and you can choose according your need while recording videos offline or live stream first screenshot if you want to take a screenshot while recording select and there you go camera if you want to include yourself in your videos you can uh, you can do it from here just tap uh, just enable it and uh, you can adjust size of the camera window also scale up or down and you can put anywhere uh, on your screen you can also use front or rear camera uh, brush tool this is very important tool you can do this 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 or this one also uh, you can take a snapshot from here also you can erase with the help of this like this you can undo your brush like this and you can choose your brush color also just pick and boom there you go next is gif recorder while recording you can make gif also watermark and do not enable this one from here because du watermark will be on your videos do remember when you are creating any personalized watermark for your videos it won't show while recording so keep in mind and make personalized watermark according your current video subject or let it be so that's all about offline recording with du screen recording and live stream app i'll upload very soon next part of du app which is live stream so please wait and do watch that one also if you have any question any query regarding this video do ask and comment below if you like this video hit the like button and share also please do wait for my next video until i'm signing off see you soon jai hind